What's going on guys? Charge it up here in the garage with the Black R6. For today's video, how to remove the rear fender flares. Let's go. All right guys, let's get right to it. You need to get to the bolts. So step number one, we're gonna go ahead and remove the rider seat and the passenger seat. The rider seat has two bolts, one there and one there. And obviously the, pass the rear passenger seat comes off with the unit's key, which is right over there. Okay, step number two, we're gonna go ahead and start removing some of the push pins and the bolts. We're gonna go ahead and start from the tail. We're gonna start from this side. This is a size four Allen key. Now, as you take these out, there will be little metal washers. Don't lose these guys. They will have to go back in. Okay, so once you get rid of the two bolts, you can actually see it's actually fairly loose. Step number three, we're gonna go ahead and take off this plastic piece right here on both sides. There are gonna be two push pins with the Phillips head on there. So you can go ahead and slowly and slightly take those up. So there's one. Some of these get really annoying sometimes because they just spin and spin and spin. And that's why I don't like these type these types of push pins. However, if you do run into a push pin, this is gonna turn into a different tutorial in a second. If you do run into a push pin here where it just spins and spins and spins, you can grab a needle nose plier, try and see if we can access the bottom portion. Luckily we have access to the bottom right here. So we're gonna go ahead and clamp the bottom, go ahead and clamp, clamp the bottom and then hopefully by clamping it now, as you can see, it's actually releasing the screw, but I definitely do hate these push pins. So once we remove these two, there will be another one underneath, just on the edge right here. There will be one on each side. We're gonna go ahead and take that off as well. Now that we have those three push pins out, we're gonna move on to step number four. This is gonna be so much easier right here. Step number four, just these little push pin guys right here. Four total, which will actually release this plastic piece right here. All right, once you have those four pushed in, just slightly take them out and obviously don't lose the push pins. Now that we did that, we have access to these two bolts with nothing else, with nothing going across them. So step number five, we're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts right over here, one on each side. Now that we did that, both fender flares are now loose. So you're gonna go ahead and once again, lift up and pull outwards. And on this side right here, you're gonna slowly pull it out from this section right here. And there you go, there is the left side rear fender flare. And same thing on this side, guys. Once again, lift up the back plastic to release that little tab, pull out, and then you can pull out this guy from its place as well. And that's the right side of the fender flare. So as you can see, now it gives us access to the sides. And at this point, you could even go a little further by obviously removing the entire back plastic piece that holds this entire area on. This is one big piece that comes off but that's for a different video. Okay, let's go ahead and put the flares back on. Once again, it's a very simple procedure. You just gotta put the tabs in the right spots. This one actually goes underneath. So you're gonna go ahead and take this part right here. There's an opening. You're gonna put that like so, and then it actually sneaks in underneath the metal bracket right there. Like so. You got the two tabs. I'll show you the tabs in a second. There are two tabs there and there, which actually go, which actually goes around the metal piece on both sides, which is actually nicely made. So we got that. Then we got the top piece. We're gonna go ahead and lift up the plastic piece right there and just put it like so. And that'll actually hold, hold it in place on its own already. We're gonna take our push pins. We're gonna put this guy in first, the one that's underneath. That's one. So now that we have our one push pin right there that comes from underneath, we're gonna grab the silver bolt. This is actually shorter than the one that goes in here. Don't get those mixed up. This one also has those little metal rings, whereas this one does not. So this actually goes in like so. I'm gonna put that on there. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our two longer bolts. These are size fours or size four Allen bolt as well. But these ones remember have these little uh, washers to fall into place. Now these don't have to be reamed on or tightened so so tight just a nice little gentle snug and there you go that flare is back on all right i'm going to put quickly put this guy back on as well now that both flares are back on just this little plastic piece is left like so this guy goes under there's a tab where it actually shows you where it goes just push this under like that which lines up the back tabs make sure those tabs are on because it keeps Keeps everything nice and streamlined. And then we've got our four push pins for this part as well. Once you put these guys back on with the four push pins, I actually went ahead and put the 
other four push pins on. Now, do these four have to really come off? One, two, three, four, not really. However, it does actually give you some more leeway when you're actually playing around with the push pin underneath and the screw so you can actually take things apart a lot easier. Totally your choice if you want to end up taking those off. Last steps here, literally just putting back the seats. And that's it. Just that simple, everything is back on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.